Hi, my name is Viv Cowley uh, from Vmoto. Uh, this is one of my bikes that I've got here for this year's show. I've got two bikes this year. I've got the K100 um, and then we have a Honda Dominator over in another part of the hall. So this bike came about when a customer of mine came to see me and um, he, he had a, a vision of what he wanted to try and achieve with his K100 that he bought some years previously. Um, he stripped it out and it came to me in bits. Um, he had prepped the engine, he cleaned all the engine, it's a stock engine, and he had a clear vision of what he wanted to do with this bike. Um, it was going to be a calf racer, uh, and he, he bought to me uh, a fiberglass fairing and seat unit. So, one of the first things that we sort of got stuck into was the making of the bodywork. Um, the bodywork was, like I said, in fiberglass, but um, I felt that because the stock BMW tank was alloy, it would be nice to show that off, but it didn't complement the fiberglass fairing or seat unit, so I suggested that we made a fiber, um, uh, an alloy fairing and an alloy seat unit. So these are products that we make at our shop. Um, it then progressed by a little bit of pressure from me, I guess, because um, at the turn of the, the year, back in January, I, I asked him if he'd like to exhibit his bike at the show, to which he agreed. So, but it, for me, it, it meant that there were some key points on the bike that had to be changed. He had a stock front end in it with the standard BMW forks, which, and he was adamant that he wanted to run the standard wheels. So I felt that the front would let the engineering down um, that, that was happening on the bike. So we put a set of uh, GSX R1000 forks in it and the calipers and then I made some adapters to run those discs onto that wheel because it's a completely different mounting system on a Jixa Thau. So that was a, a, a bit of an engineering exercise but it came out good. Uh, another point that he was adamant that he wanted to run was the headlight arrangement. So the headlights off a, a BMW uh, GS model of a, the big trailer um, and he, he particularly liked the asymmetry of it all. Instead of having just one or two equal sized lamps, he, he liked that light unit, which again represented a headache from my point of view of making all that mount into the alley fairing. But came out okay, looks good, it's quite a different look. Um, lots of other key points that he was within his vision, the, he wanted to put um, some carburetors on it and do away with all the injection. So we initially spoke of putting um, four carbs onto the bike, but I, I had uh, kicking around in my shop a, a side draft Weber and put it on top of the engine and it, it instantly sold the deal. So, so then I was into the, the realms of making a manifold because of course you can't buy an inlet manifold for a, a Weber on a K100 BM engine. So made the inlet manifold and as near as I can, made it look like a casting. And um, the finished effect is, is quite striking. Um, going further back into the rear of the bike, the suspension is uh, a little bit different from a point of view that the way that the damper and the rocker arrangement is, is fitted. It's, it's actually a, a rear damper and a rocker from a, a 2002 uh, Yamaha R1. So it's been done before and it was just a case of, of uh, doing the maths and getting the rocker leverage ratios right and, and applying it to this application. So quite, quite a different look. Um, the seat unit was, uh, I, I made the, the buck to get a, a shape that we were both happy with. And again, that's a, a hand formed um, alloy seat unit. And uh, underneath there, in, there's where we managed to hide all of the Elect electrical items, the battery, um, and there's also a large storage area underneath the tank, which is all out of sight. So it keeps the the look of the bike clean um, and uncluttered. Um, lots of nice um, aftermarket components on this bike. The master cylinders are Japanese gal speed, lovely proprietary items. The wiring is thanks to um, motorcycle wiring services, Richard Prowse who does all my wiring, he's a very, very talented guy, um, completely professional and I love his work. It's, it's, uh, he's he's an ex-RAF person, so 
his, his, his level of, um, his, of work is fabulous. So overall, um, a, a, nice, a nice job, it's come out okay, the owner's chuffed to bits and is really looking forward to riding it. And uh, that'll be a, another one out the door from V-Moto. Uh, it's the V-Moto K100 calf racer. Um, just going to do a little file up for you, for anybody who's not seen a K100 run on a Weber car before.